Hi, I'm back and I'm in the middle of a great British summer holiday. Come to the Romney Sands Holiday Park on the south coast of Kent, just like we did last year. You remember what it was like last year. Luckily, this year the weather has been great with plenty of sun to go with the persistent gale force winds that make this the perfect holiday destination. So why did we come back here to Romney Sands once more this year? Was it because travel restrictions mean that there was almost no chance of us having a holiday on the continent where, with its nice warm weather and delicious food? No, of course not. We're here for loads of different reasons, not least this wonderfully massive lodge that we've uh, been sharing for the week with some of our friends, including Nina, who's a loyal subscriber to this very channel. Um, she's also a friend who we knew even before I started the channel so I don't want any of you to sort of think I'm just going to go on random holidays with you. Um, that's, that's not going to happen just to be clear. We chose this place again for its honesty. Look at this billboard. Most seaside resorts would use shots of people on the beach in swimwear. Not here. The very clear message is that to enjoy a holiday here means wrapping up warm at all times. We've also come because of this miniature steam railway that occasionally terrorises families as it rips through the heart of the holiday park itself. Lovely little railway that, isn't it? Lovely little train. This is what it's like in your 40s. You find yourself becoming helplessly charmed by any kind of steam railway or train and saying things like this. Lovely little railway that, isn't it? Lovely little train. <sighs> this is what it's like in your 40s. We also, of course, come here for the beach, which is looking absolutely glorious today. I've had to hide myself in amongst the sand dunes at the back of the beach to do this. I tried to do a bit of talking down there, um, but uh, I haven't checked it, but I imagine you, you, you couldn't hear a thing. So yeah, it has been extremely windy every day. This is actually the calmest day, still pretty windy out there, um, but it hasn't stopped us going in the sea. Leo, you know, straight in there, got his little wetsuit on walks all the way out to where the sea is. It does, it does come in a lot closer, but walks all the way out, with diving in the waves, all that kind of thing. And there's sort of a line of sludge just as you got into the sea. But if you step over that, I think it's absolutely fine. No, no, nothing to worry about. Um, I thought that the sea would be absolutely freezing. I've got to say, and when Leo was going out sort of deeper and deeper, I was thinking, oh God, this is going to be my like ice cold. But, um, I wouldn't go so far as to say it was warm, but it was certainly tepid. Um, actually, quite pleasant, quite pleasant to stroll around in that um, warm, if murky water. A couple of dogs there. And of course, we're here for this state-of-the-art nine-hole golf course.
also came here for the arcade, where you can play games to win tickets to buy sweets, or simply slowly pour your life savings into the 2p machines. Also, we come down here so I can do a little bit of fishing. If you watched my Romney video last year, you'll see that I used to be quite a fisherman when I was younger, but I hadn't fished for about 25 odd years. But last year, Semi gave me the bug for it, so I came back and uh, it's been very nice. I just had a little session there where I think that's probably my most successful carp fishing session of my life. It took, uh, I think, six carp, two of them around eight, nine pounds, which is pretty nice. I mean, nothing enormous, but pretty nice. A couple of other anglers complimented me as I left. Can't remember that ever happening before. Yesterday, I came down here fishing as well, and I got close to something approaching some sort of fishing nirvana. Uh, it was a beautiful day, I was just out the wind, and I uh, thought, oh, it's the first day of the test today. I think I'll have a listen to Test Match Special. So that was lovely, and I had that just going on quietly while I was catching fish. And then something else happened. I got a text through saying that QPR had signed QPR legend Charlie Austin back um, on a permanent deal. It was absolutely fantastic. I, re I realised that those three things, three or four things put together, um, are fairly niche when it comes to having a great day. But for me, that was the definition of a really fantastic afternoon. It was brilliant. So I've been down to the lake five times, I think five, six times over the course of this little holiday. Been very successful, really enjoyed it. Caught plenty of carp. Occasionally I felt slightly guilty about, you know, the old hook in the lip. Um, might be slightly cruel to animals, but it's once a year. And, um, you know, if an apocalypse comes and we're forced to live off carp from lakes, at least I'll know how to catch them. Uh, but yeah, that'll probably be it for me, for fishing for another year. So that's how my great British holiday has been going. I'm just enjoying a great British gin and tonic on the final evening here as I bask in the evening sunshine and the stiff breeze. I should apologise, actually. I'm back on YouTube slightly later than I said I would be. I think I said it'd be three weeks or something. I think it's been longer than that. Uh, so apologies for that. I've just been very busy. Um, I mentioned the children's podcast that I've been writing with my friend Chris. Um, that's all now handed in. Um, and it's quite exciting. We're recording the uh, voices for that this week. Harry Enfield is going to play the lead character of The Old Man. Of called The Old Man in the Boat and a few other characters too. My friend Harriet, an excellent voice artist, is going to play a load of characters too. And Clark Peters, perhaps best known as Lester Freeman in The Wire, is the narrator, which I am incredibly excited about. I'm meeting him on Wednesday, so uh, I really can't wait for that. So that's going to be great. I've been working on the new series of Taskmaster, which is out in the autumn, and also on the Taskmaster book with Alex Horn. I think people are now aware is coming out later this year so very exciting stuff but that is now all out of the way so uh, I'm hoping now we're going to got a clean run of uh, new videos to come and plenty of plenty of things in the pipeline plenty of exciting things I think there might be a collaboration with the boy John coming up which will be fantastic I'm a big fan of his um, I'm hoping to taste Robbie Knox's a new beer or one of his new beers in the next couple of weeks or so so that should be great and uh yeah a bit of um euro 2020 or 2021 content coming up soon too so uh cheers <laughs> <laughs>